All right, welcome from Texas Lutheran. We have head coach and birthday boy, Greg Burnett, and then student athletes, Dylan Durgach and Tyler Colley. Coach, uh, opening remarks, if you'd like. Well, first of all, hats off to Concordia Chicago. What a great ball club. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm not, don't want to slide anybody, but it's, uh, it's probably the best team we've faced, faced all year. Um, really, really good ball club. Uh, Mike Formella, uh, outstanding job. Got through three nights in a row that I know of, or two days in a row, two nights in a row, and then started today was, was really, really good, and we finally got to him a little bit. Um, you know, our pitching staff held it together against a great offense, and, and uh, they put a lot of pressure on you throughout the game and uh, they can run. Uh, I think we did a, a, a fairly good job of shutting the running game down for them, uh, for us. Um, helps with uh, guys on the mound that, that have an idea about um, how to shut that down and, and a catcher that can throw a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, I, I honestly, I thought uh, they went to the left-hander and I thought after yesterday, I thought it was a great move. Uh, if they saw what Warm did to us yes, yesterday, I thought it was a great move. And, um, you know, Tyler, Tyler, we were fortunate that Tyler got a hold of one, uh, and he's been clutch all year. So. Questions? Yeah, Tyler, can you just take it through the home run? What were you looking for, and uh, did you know right away that was going? Uh, going into the at-bat, I was kind of struggling throughout the day, barely missing balls and stuff. And I talked to Riley Schaefer right before the at-bat, and he said, just trust what you know and see what pitch you can get right over the plate and just let it, let it fly. And right when I hit it, I knew it was gone. So. Pretty cool experience. Big, biggest home run of your career? So far, yeah. Hopefully more to <laughs> come. And Dylan, just how does it kind of feel to cap off uh, senior season and going to the national championship? I mean, it's hard to explain, really. Um, I mean, obviously, I faced those guys two days ago, and uh, I think we saw what happened. I didn't even make it out of the third inning. and. Um, it was just, it was great to get back out there and be able to kind of throw the ball again and get after these guys one more time. Um, me knowing that this was probably my last start as a senior, like you suggested, I mean, it's definitely one of my last times to go up on the mound and throw. And um, it, I mean, it's awesome that, I mean, we're getting to go to the final two teams and play those guys from Tyler. And um, yeah, it was just, it was amazing. It's a great way to cap off my, my starts. And I already talked to my, pitching coach after the game, I was like, dude, I'm going to try to find a way to get as healthy as I can um, so that I can maybe come back and give some relief. And he's like, you're going to have to twist my arm real hard to make me do that. So <clears throat> hopefully I can try to uh, swing that, but I don't know. If anything, that was a great way to go out for sure. Anything feel different about today or just having another <laughs> chance to get out of the mound and redeem yourself? Or <laughs> Well, uh, today was a great day just because um, I pre-medicated with some Advil and some Tylenol. I've been <laughs> battling a little bit of lower back issues and my arm's been giving me some grief lately as well. And uh, good old BioFreeze in between innings, um, putting it on my lower back and my shoulder. But I mean, I literally gave everything I had out there today and that's that's honestly all I can say. That's, Medication, it'll help you out sometimes, and that was big for me today. So. Yeah, I think he's 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 really kind of selling it short. I mean, he's we rode him all year, and he's got back issues. He's had back issues for a month, month and a half now, uh, and obviously his arm. I mean, you look at the inning, the number of pitches, and and we've we've rode him pretty hard, and so today, in fact, when I came down to the bus, we didn't talk about who was going to start last night. Uh, I came out to the bus and I said, well, I, I talked to, to Rick and I said, hey, what do you think you want to do? Uh, I, I've got a suggestion. He goes, oh, we're going with Dirt Guys. And I was like, he's going to be ready? He's like, yeah, he's going to be ready. And I said, okay. And you know, it's fitting. Struck the last guy out and that was going to be his last hitter. Uh, whether he got him out or not, he struck him out. And I think that's a, a pretty fitting end to, to his career. Little did he know, we actually had the conversation last night right after the game. Yeah. He said, hey, are you good for tomorrow? And I said, yeah, I got it. I said, all right, <laughs> you got it then. So, um, Talk about the balance in your lineup. Everybody got a hit today? Yeah. Um, man, I, I, you know, it's, it's we, we've done a really good job. And we, you know, we have a hitting philosophy here and what we're trying to do. Uh, and, and I think we executed it pretty well today. And we, um, you know, we, I, I don't really know how to speak to that right now. It's just that I feel like 
we have some balance in our lineup and we have we may not hit for a ton of power uh, but we can do some things with our legs uh, and, and, and what I've always strived to have is a, is a balanced lineup in terms of if we need to bunt and play small ball, we can do that. If we need to run a little bit, take extra bases, steal some bases, we got to do that. And every once in a while, we can punch one out of the yard. And uh, we've, we've tried to do that for years. And, and I think this year's is close to a complete lineup. I mean, our nine hole hitter's hitting over 300. And uh, he, he, he's had a great year all year. And so, uh, Hey, it's really been good, and we, we've been good all year long. And, and I don't pay attention to batting averages and things like that. Uh, you know, I have my own stats that I keep, and, and we talk about quality at bats. You hear it out of our dugout, quab, quab, and that's quality at bat, and that's what we're trying to do every time up. And, and our guys really this year have bought into it. How fitting was it to end the game with the 4 6 3? I mean, <laughs> those guys this whole tournament Man. have been wowing people. Well, the, uh, really the whole year. Yeah, I was going to say the whole year. Um, uh, not only, not only that. I mean, those guys for four years, and we we had them as freshmen, and uh, you know I nicknamed them the Wonder Twins uh, because they were always together. They're both really small, and uh, uh, so they were always around each other. And they in practice they would they would roll these double plays, and they're flipping them out of their glove behind their back, and I would look at it. And at first I thought, oh, they're just goofing around. They're always goofing around. But then you start to see some of those things come to fruition. And uh, in fact, um, you know, we, we, we almost turned the one early in the game. I don't know if we had to turn the double play, but the one that, that was an error where, where Eric dove and got up and threw behind. I mean, uh, it, it couldn't have ended any better. Those guys have been awesome all year long. And, uh, uh, man, I, I tell you what, uh, we're fortunate to have the best, best defensive middle infield I've probably coached here. Those guys know who the Wonder Twins were? They have no uh, idea. I had to show them a picture. <laughs> so it did, the joke didn't really, uh, didn't really have meaning to those guys, but it did to me. Texas final? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I will tell you this, um, look, I mean, the West region, I said it before and I'll say it again, it's, it's, the West region is a really good region and that's not to slight anybody. And I'm not trying to slight any team uh, or any program or anything, but the West region is a great region and it's very, very difficult geographically with the way we're spread for us to get together and play and therefore Sometimes strength of schedules don't show because we're not able to play everybody and uh, the state of Texas is a big, big state. Um, but I think, it, I think it, it, again, it goes to show what kind of baseball is being played down in Texas. And uh, listen, uh, I, I said this morning um, in a conversation with some people that, that uh, I feel like there were two teams in our conference that could have come here and done a great job. And I feel like there was two or three teams in the, in the American Southwest Conference that could have come here and done a great job. And uh, we're fortunate that we, we were able to get through our conference tournament and get through our region. Uh, I think Tyler feels the same way. And, um, you know, it's an all-Texas final. We've been talking about it. We talked about it on the, on the, the plane trip over, and uh, I could hear the guys talking about it. I think it's a pretty neat thing, and I think it speaks volumes to the, to the level of baseball being played in Texas.